What's going on guys? It's your boy, Worthy Prince, coming at ya with another Lord's mobile video. And yes guys, I'm back, hopefully now with some more regular daily uploads, which I really enjoy doing. Um, last few days, I've actually been a bit under the weather guys, but feeling a bit better now, so hopefully we can go ahead and get some action back on the channel. Now this is a bit overdue guys, this is the action from the previous KVK with POA. Now obviously I've put up the baby trap stuff, but I didn't upload the POA stuff. So here we go guys, this video is packed. You've got yourself a fort battle here, we're going to be doing some rallies after, going straight into some chest opening, and then ba 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 boom, we're going to do a rally trap. So it's all going to kick off in this video guys, I hope you really enjoy it. As you can see he's got 2.3 million troops in that fort, and this is who I'm going up against, WD1 Anaxi, who's actually sitting in some rather nice gear guys. Now my rally size, I can get up to about 3.1 million troops. So I'm looking to take this out, especially if he stays under 3 million. Now I can see some more troops coming into that fort. So I'm guessing we are gonna increase the amount of troops we're gonna walk into. The only question is, will he go much above what I can send? And I will keep an eye on it the best I can before I go ahead and send that rally. Now of course, what you can see here, I'm sending some reinforcements over to Ballhead there. And the reason I'm doing that is because he's an awesome player that doesn't have a load of troops, will come and join a rally, but we do need to kind of reinforce him to try and keep him safe in case someone tries to solo him out. Um, but yeah, no, that's what I like about players that even that don't have a lot of troops, but will chuck in their last bit to help out with a rally. That's the kind of players you need, guys, because troops are made to die. Let's just hope not too many die on this rally, right? <laughs> so let's go ahead and chuck another scout into that fort. Let's see what they've done so far. This is the troop comp, so 2.2 and the 3. We're up to about 2.5 million troops now in that fort. It's still nowhere near what I'm about to hit it with. So I'm going to tell these guys in the chat now to go ahead and spam the leader there so he can't see his watchtower. I want to completely block his watchtower out so that he can't see the rally I'm sending and that the only way he can try and determine exactly what's coming at his fort is if he clicks on my castle and checks my gear and you'll see why that's going to be important very very soon okay. So again I'm telling the guys in the chat come on spam him we've only got like 25 seconds I can't see much spam going in. I can see a couple more marches though going in towards that fort. So I'm going to chuck another scout in. Let's take another look. We've only got like 15 seconds to the rally go. So let's have a quick peek. 2.4 plus the 3. That's 2.7 plus them two marches after. It's close. It's going to be around about 3.1, 3.2. Which is about what I've got. Now my rally is starting to walk now. So I'm going to go ahead and put my cavalry gear on. Now if he looks at my castle now, he will see cavalry. So, okay, cavalry's coming. I'm going to go to range formation to defend, but then at the last minute, I switch to my infantry and check my formation that's wrong. <laughs> you know, mistakes made, but there we go. I had the wrong formation, but I had the right actual troops in that rally, and that's what mattered. There we go. He went and got ahead and got burned, and I took the frozen fort. It wasn't without its mistakes. Like I said, I should have had my infantry at the back of the field with the buffers in front, so I kind of messed up a little bit, but... The result was a good one, so I'll take it. <laughs> and there's the result. 1.1 million for me, 1.27 for him. He had 3.285 in the fort. I had 3.1, so it was close. It wasn't like super duper close, but it was still close. Anyway, guys, now that fort battle's over with and we got the frozen fort, awesome stuff, I'm now looking for another target. Now, we were doing some solo hits on some targets under 150 in Fury, but we found this guy in Fury scouting about. I'm too, I'm scared to. And he is 295 million might, and his gear's not bad, but his might destroyed's quite low. I mean, his kills aren't anything to brag about. So I decided to go over and set a rally on this dude. So here we go, five minutes. Now I was gonna do Cav. You can see I'm getting ready to press it, but I haven't got the familiar for Cav. I've got the familiar for range. So I decided to go ahead and fire a range off. Now I do have buffers in that march, in case you're wondering why you saw no buffers, it's just that they're T2 buffers, but they are there. Now I'm asking for range, plus one inf, let's go! Now why am I asking for plus one inf guys? Some of you guys will know the answer to that question, but if you don't, I'm asking for one infantry troop to come into my march, because a lot of enemy players will watch the speed your troops are walking. 
and if they see troops walking quite fast to your castle, they'll probably guess that there's going to be maybe cavalry. If it's going fast but not quite fast enough, it might be range, and if it's going slow, it's infantry. But I mean, if everybody here is going ahead and putting one infantry in, then they might think I'm actually going to send an infantry march. And they might decide that cavalry would be the best reinforcements. This guy also ported in and sent troops in. He's in fury. Let's send him a scout. And... What yeah. the fuck is that? Yeah, anyway, his gear's not looking too bad, I guess, apart from those boots. But yeah, this guy's in fury, so we're going to go and get Shogun to rally the race guy. Now, obviously, yeah, like I said, if they see my troops walking in infantry, they might put Cav in there, or he might go in a Cav Phalanx to defend, when actually the real troops that are coming are going to be infantry, so, sorry, range. So it's always worth doing that, guys, to mask your troop speed so they don't know what's coming. The thing is, he doesn't seem too bothered. I mean, when I come over there and set the rally, he was still scouting. I mean, Shogun's targets run. He's like, nah. I'm out. <laughs> I'm totally out of here. He's just legged it. But he's in fury, so Shogun is going to carpet this uh, straight into him. And I love seeing that. Look at all those troops leaving the castles, going into Shogun's castle there. Filling that rally practically instantly, which is awesome. I think I'm about 100k short, but I get my rally full before it goes, so don't worry about that. Anyway, he's still sitting there. He hasn't moved. Okay, well nobody scouted me, so I'm just going to go ahead and put my 20% boost on. He's not going to scout me, because I doubt he'll risk another Fury, especially a fresh one. And I've got 3 seconds, so 3, 2, 1, Rally's walking, and now I'm going to switch into my range gear. Now here it goes, the range is walking, he had time to see that mind you, and I burn him! There we go! And more one troops going in, so he turns back to smoke. He didn't seem too fussed, did he? Let me have a quick look at his mic drop. Come on, get out of the way, ants. 242 okay he dropped about 50 million might so that hurt him big time i'm going straight in there and i'm changing the troop i'm going to go with infantry now let me have a look at this report quickly oh my god three million red deads he had 9.9 .9 million troops in there whoa a 53 million might drop that is insane i didn't expect to even come hit nowhere near 10 million troops no wonder this guy felt confident but was that confidence misplaced? It may have been, because when you check the troop comp, look at that. He's got like 3.2 tier 1 archers. He's got a little, he's got no hardly any gladiators. And then he's got a sprinkler towards, well, quite a few uh, drakes. But I mean, wow. And now he's run. <laughs> he's run, but I've gone ahead and set that rally. I, you know, I knew he was going to pull. As soon as I saw the mic drop, I was like, I've got to do this. But Shogun's rally, hold on. Shogun's rally going in, and, oh, okay, that guy went ahead and teleported. Fair enough. Now, I don't have the report for Shogun's rally, which is really annoying. It was a couple of weeks ago, and I couldn't find it. But needless to say, um, I do show the news feed in a second, and I believe he had around about 1 million Red Deads off the back of that rally. Well, so, you know, that kind of hit in KVK is always a delicious thing to get. So 1 million red deads for him. You can see it's 1.8 million killed and injured troops. So we're filling his infirms and a little bit of red on our side, of course. I believe he had about 1 million red dead total. But let's get back to this guy that's run away. <laughs> so I'm telling everyone to fire the carpets, of course, because he's gone quite far away. I don't want to let this guy see what I'm sending if I can help it. So we want to try and carpet this as quickly as possible, okay? So let's just wait and see how this goes. We've got two seconds. The rally's walking. I'm going to quickly switch my infantry gear on. And it's off. Here we go. So 15 seconds. 11 minutes. Sorry. 6, 5. He ports. Okay. The question is, what happened? Well, it didn't hit as hard as the last one. 522,000 red dead. Still a 30 million might drop. And I'm still happy with that hit. But I wanted to get into that range. Unfortunately, he did heal the drakes that he had in there, and he did boost some drakes as well, and probably took some reinforcements as well, I don't know, but I wish I'd have gone range on that hit. I think a range hit would have been beautiful. Anyway, chest opening time! <laughs> okay, so something new, something different thrown into the middle of this. Guild Bash, the last Guild Bash. These are our prizes I got. I love this event. Guild Bash is awesome. Let's just take a look at the, some of the things I've got here. So we've got a 24-hour speed, a 3-hour speed. What else we got? 
I've got, come on, embers, two ember chests, but it lagged, okay. We've got a thousand holy stars, what else? We've got 24 hour speed up, uh, 1000 holy stars, and 1000 gems, nice, nice, that's really good. We've got 15 grim reaper chests, uh, what's this one? And 100 terror chests, 100? Wow, I didn't realize you can get 100, I mean I've got 30 or 50 before, but 100? Okay, four Slayer Loots, we'll take, uh, Blazing Embers, I mean. <laughs> a thousand gems, nice, and 15 Saber Fang chests. Okay, not a bad haul, to be honest, although some people get three-day speeds and seven-day speeds and stuff out of this. But you know what, I'm happy with these chests, especially the Terra chests, I really need seeds. So let's go ahead and open those little bad boys up. So two Ember chests, here comes a Legendary, or not. <laughs> Two commons. Check these 15 out, though. <laughs> Let's go, baby! I don't even need Bloodsuckers no more. Isn't it typical? But, I mean, one legendary Bloodsucker or 15 Saber Fang chests. The game always throws these little surprises at you when you least expect it. Um, but, you know, I'm happy to still get it. It's still a cool legendary to get, especially off of 15 chests. So thank you very much, IGG gods. Moving into Grim Reaper chest, let's take a look. We get a green curse skull, okay, I mean, you know, green, okay. It's not bad. And then I've got 100 of these terror chests. I'm gonna go and open these in 25s because I really need seeds. Not that opening them in 25s makes any difference, as you can see. <laughs> but you know, it's superstition sometimes. And when I've got such a few amount of chests like this, sometimes I do do that. I did get a blue one. There we go. So a nice blue one. That's going to help me build my terror. Is it terror shield? Yeah. The terror shield I need to build. Uh, 50 left. 25 gives me some honey for Winnie the Pooh. And a terror jewel. Okay. And 25 more. We get nothing. Okay. Anyway though, a decent haul from Guild Bash. Right guys, now, are you ready for some trap in action? <laughs> okay, so we were all sitting in another kingdom watching my rally trap, Frozen Flame, sitting there waiting for some poor soul to come and rally it, and up stepped Nav. Hi Nav, how you doing? Welcome to the channel. So this guy here, XXX Mister, set a rally on me. Everybody else came in to reinforce, and then the other guy went ahead and rallied Crazy Girl. Who's Crazy Jenny? The Jenny Trap. <laughs> Both the Jenny Trap and the Worthy Trap getting rallied again, side by side. Awesome stuff. We love it. <laughs> so, of course, I'm really excited at this point. I'm like, oh, wow, this hasn't happened for a while. The last time it happened, it was pretty epic. So let's see exactly what happens this time round. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to reinforce her soon but with my main account. Um, but not just yet, it's fine. I've actually got different screens up at the moment doing things. This is the guy that's rallying me. Mr. 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 whatever his name is. Uh, Champion Blue Legs, or Purple Legs. We've got the Mythic Beast Town. I'm sure he's got a decent set hiding behind there. And this is the guy that's rallying Jenny. He's got his infantry gear on right now. And uh, it's pretty good. I mean, that's a really good infantry set. He's got a couple of pieces to upgrade still, but it's looking pretty good. And uh, yeah, there we go. There's your two attackers. You know us two already. I'm going to go ahead and take it in range, I think, unless I see anything different. I uh, kind of thought this guy might go in cav. I've got 20 seconds, guys, until XXXX Mister goes ahead and fires that rally. And I have to say, I'm excited until I see him cancel. And I'm like, no, bro, really? Come on, man. I'm not even doing nothing. Like, you're still rallying with the Jenny Trap, and she's got higher might and more kills than me. I'm like, what the hell? Like, <laughs> really? Like, that sticker's perfect for that. It really is. And he gives me the thumbs down. It's almost as if he knows I'm online. I, I don't know. It's quite spooky, guys. Scary stuff. But anyway, he bottled out, and he didn't go ahead and do the rally. 800 odd million versus 200, and I think it was 25 million might. There it is. Um, and, he, and he backed out and uh, shit his pants basically guys, that's the only way I can describe it, there isn't no other way really is there? But we still have the rally on Crazy Girl, aka the Jenny Trap, aka I'm gonna take your leader and shove cookies down his throat. So let's see, <laughs> let's see what happens, you can see the spam is starting to go in, there's still a bit of room for reinforcements, I just quickly whack 70,000 cav in, because why not? And uh, off they go. And we're waiting now for this polar guy to send the rally. Here he comes. And it's the world's slowest rally I've ever seen. 
And come on, bro. Hit the accelerator. Come on. I think he's found it. <laughs> he's found the carpets. Here they come. Da -da -da. And oh, dearie me. <laughs> Mr. Polar is on ice. And he's done. <laughs> so Mr. Polar gets capped. Ouch. That's, that's an ouchie. It would have been nice if the other one hit me too. It would have been a double bubble. But unfortunately, that didn't happen, unfortunately. But look at that. 96,000 wounded and 1 million red deads. 84 million might drop. Now, there's only two words I can say about that. Get wrecked. And he didn't even put no buffers in. It's just like a pure cav march. Which, you know, I guess. All right. Fair enough. This is the guy's cav gear that hit. It's not bad at all you know i like it he did switch from his infantry to his cav and uh there you go guys a good bit of action i hope you enjoyed it and that's gonna be unfortunately the end of the video <laughs> but until the next time stay safe everybody and peace out